Ari Technology, Maya Paveza here, also known as Maya Ari Guru. I just got back from showing an amazing property, a Frank Lloyd Wright house here in Wilmington, Delaware, the Dudley Spencer house. Um, I think it was completed in 1956, and all I can say is, wow, that is a remarkable property. If you ever have that almost once in a lifetime opportunity, definitely take it. So, yeah, if I could buy it, I would. That is an amazing piece of architecture, design, art, landscape, integrated with the just, yeah, the topography, the stream. So anyway, aside from that, um, I think that a lot of agents have kind of lost track of customer service, and I think that's the biggest problem we have in the industry these days is focusing on customer relations. Our job as realtors isn't necessarily to buy, you know, help somebody buy or sell a house. It is to help somebody understand whether or not it's the right time for them to buy or sell a house. Now, of course, we don't get paid to do that, but that's still good customer service. And those people will still be grateful for your time and then refer business to you. So I think that it's very important to establish good communications with your clients establish a good rapport and set expectations from the beginning, making sure that they know what they should expect from you and what you expect from them, which would be open communications. What happens so often in this business is that clients stop responding to us or disappear and usually it is a result of poor communication, service, or something where we're just not clicking with them. You can't be the right agent for everybody. So what I like to do is I like to talk to my clients on the phone and usually set up either a buyer or seller orientation meeting where we talk about this sort of thing and I tell them very straightforwardly, look, if there's ever anything that I'm doing that you don't like or you don't like how I'm handling something, please tell me. I'm a professional and I can't improve my service or serve your needs if I don't know where I am not meeting your expectations. So establishing a good open rapport and communication channel with your client is essential for success. So I always say, I mean, cat, um, buyer orientation first, seller orientation first. You can't be the right person for everybody. So no what your limitations are and also know when to draw the line. Know that there are only a certain number of listings that you as an individual agent can handle. If you're a team, that's one thing. Have set procedures, standards, and systems in place so that you can serve your clients and make sure that nothing is being forgotten in the details. Uh, online file organization systems are really essential as well. Every client I have, I have a folder on my computer and every property that they have interest in has its own folder. I then also have a section on my computer of forms and I have buyer and seller packets already zipped up ready to go. Um, I have a collection of anything I could possibly need to send to a client and try to keep as much of it also on my phone so I can forward if need be there. And then when I'm out on tour, I don't take paper anymore. I put everything on a PDF and I send it to my iPad via the Kindle app. So you can do that with your own email address at kindle.com. So that's always really helpful. So literally, I am not carrying paper around, um, except today. I did bring paper today for my clients so that they had something to reference, not knowing if they had an iPad or not. But typically, I will tell my clients this is what I'm doing, and if they want paper, I'll ask them to please let me know that in advance. Otherwise, I have my iPad, I have all the information right there, I've got my Wi-Fi, I can go online and get whatever I need. And another amazing resource to help educate, especially buyer clients, is RPR. If you are not using RPR, and it is available in your market, take it out, take advantage, because it's combining the loan processing services information, it's public records, it's uh, census data, and all of it merging it into one place. And it is amazing the kind of things that you can demonstrate with some of the heat maps on RPR. So check it out at narrpr.com if you want to use it. Um, it is a member benefit, so if you're a Realtor, you can have it. 
And then of course, I know my MLS and many are part of our RE Technology. So make sure you check RE Technology when you're interested in new products or services because there's a lot of reviews, there may be good deals, and there's always great information. So for RE Technology this week, it is May 13th. I'm Maya Paveza. Have a great week. And don't forget your customers. Serve them.